What's up guys, David or one, two and two, and it's deck profile day. I figured because we're all stuck in pro pro team, because we're stuck in pro because we're stuck in quarantine, I figured I would uh, I would use this opportunity to make some fun deck profiles with the new cards. This is really hard to talk in. I, I can't keep it on for the gag. Two of my favorite decks got new cards revealed, that is Toons and UA, so I figured we could do a two-part deck profile extravaganza where I actually see what I can do with some of the new support. I figured uh, we would do Toons first because those are Oddly enough, TCG exclusives, so we'll get those before we get the OCG exclusive UA support. But I do like them both, so I just want to, you know, kind of go over what I think you can do with both of the decks. So I've done extensive testing with this deck. Bear in mind, it's still tunes. There's probably some upward mobility for the deck a little bit, but it's does definitely suffer from did I open Toon Kingdom or not still, and that's that's pretty annoying. But anyway, let's check out the deck profile. All right, guys, here is the deck. Feel free to skip to the duels if you guys recognize all this, but I will go card by card just in case you don't know everything you're looking at. We're gonna call this build Toon Harpy Control because unlike a nor, uh, I guess you'd call typical build of the deck where it's focusing a lot on the level sevens because there's some Wombo combos there with the red eyes and the dark magician and searching and all that other hooey. I opted to just go a more slow rolling control build because uh, tunes don't do a hell of a lot, so the best thing you can hope for is to try to make it so your opponent's not doing a hell of a lot either. The first monster in the deck is your Toon Black Luster Soldier at 3. He's a level 8. He's another one of the new ones in the Toon Chaos set. Pretty, pretty solid card. Has his own special summoning condition, just like Black Luster Soldier, but instead of the Chaos summoning condition, you just have to tribute monsters from your hand or your field who's level or 8, as long as those are tunes. The cool thing is it's, it's 8 or more, so you can always overshoot, and uh, although that's not really a possibility in this deck, it's either even or... or fulfill a condition because you can actually use an extra copy of himself to summon himself so that's pretty handy. While you control Toon World he can attack directly as long as your opponent doesn't have tunes so you know like a typical Toon monster and once per turn as an ignition effect if you control that Toon World you can target one card on the field and banish it however he can attack the turn he uses this. That's to kind of emulate his Black Luster Soldier origins except Black Luster Soldier Envoy at the beginning can only banish monsters he can banish any card on the field so that's pretty solid. And you will also notice that he doesn't have the summoning sickness a lot of tunes have, joining the ranks of our Toon Dark Magician Girl, which I can only assume may be a reference to the fact that Black Cluster Soldier can attack twice during a battle phase, so like, if we just assume one of those is taken up by the I can't attack, then that means he just has one attack? I don't know. <laughs> Not exactly sure why they did that. that, that's my little theory -o. but it does make him a viable option for battle or for control, because he does have that 3k body. The titular card of the deck, the Toon Harpy Lady, is another one of the new Toon Chaos cards. She also has her own special summoning condition. If you control Toon World, you can just activate her in the hand and she'll go to the field. And if you control another Toon monster after this resolves, you can pop a spell or trap. Kind of emulating Harpy Hunting Ground? I really like this. Uh, it's another one of the control aspects, just like your Toon Black Fletcher Soldier. So again, that's kind of the entire reason why I'm calling this a control deck, because it just pops stuff, maintains advantage. And to round out the Toon Monsters, we have Toon Mask Sorcerer, who also helps you with advantage, because when he attacks directly, you get to draw one card. However, him and uh, Toon Harpy Lady do suffer the Toon Summoning Sickness, so be careful with that. Also, bear in mind, your Toon Mask Sorcerer has pretty low attack power, so even though he might not be able to get killed, depending on what your board state looks like, you will probably still take a bunch of damage as your opponent just slams guys into this thing, so... Be careful. And then cleaning up our monster lineup is Inspector Border. Uh, I basically, we don't tend to use our normal summon a lot of the time, so uh, I wanted a strong normal summon, and you really can't get any stronger than Inspector Border. He's got 2k attack, he pretty much is just a walking skill drain, unless your opponent does shenanigans somehow in order to get weird extra deck monsters on board. He's a pain in the ass. He's also one of the <laughs> off, most awfully written cards in the game, but you know, regardless. Very strong, and like I said, tunes don't do a lot, so it really helps if your opponent doesn't get to do a lot either. Our first spell cards are our Pot of Extravagance. In this deck, this thing's basically Pot of Greed because our extra deck is mostly just cherries targets, so most of this is expendable. Obviously, if you're signing in your Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, there is a little anti-synergy between this and Pot of Extravagance, so be careful. However, at least going game one, all this stuff is expendable. Side note, I did throw in some rank fours that you could potentially make, but this deck doesn't really do that too well, and it probably doesn't need to anyway, because most of your main deck monsters are going to be solving any problems you have anyway, or just simply ignore it because they're tunes and get attack around it. But even still, you do have this option if you need it. But as you noticed, your Toon Black Luster Soldier and Toon Harpy Lady and 
frankly, our Toon Chaos Sorcerer to a lesser extent, all need Toon World on board, so we need to get to that Toon Kingdom, which replaces Toon World in this deck. Instead of a continuous spell, it is a field spell, which obviously just makes it better. And it also does something. You activate it by banishing the three cards from the top of your deck face down. Kind of lame. Every once in a while, you'll hit something you want, but there's a lot of three ofs in this deck, so it's really not that big of a deal. It also bestows targeting protection to any of your tuned monsters, and if they would be destroyed by any means, you can banish the top card of this deck instead. So it also gets your tunes able to be not killed by battle. Like I said, your Toon Max Sorcerer might be stuck in attack mode and you might be able to protect it from battle, but you can still keep crashing into it, so that, that can be a little annoying, but still, you have the option. And because it's a field spell, we're running the one terraforming. And it wouldn't be a Toon deck without three Toon Table of Contents. This is probably one of the best rotas in the game. It just adds any Toon card from your deck to your hand, <laughs> which is pretty much the entire deck, so that's just really, really powerful. And just because we needed more rotas in the deck, Toon Bookmark is another one of the new Toon Chaos cards. It's really cool. It adds one Toon World or one card that specifically lists Toon World and its text from your deck to your hand, except itself. This is neat because it does have slightly different targets than Toon Table Contents, most of them overlap, but what is interesting about this is you can either add the Toon Kingdom make, acting like a terraforming, or you can act, you add your Comic Hand, which just says Toon World in its text, but it's not a Toon card itself. Comic Hand is a, basically a snatch deal, you equip it to an opponent's monster, you take control of it, it's treated as a Toon monster, and it can attack directly if your opponent doesn't have any Toon monsters. All you have to do is control Toon World. Bonking back to Toon Bookmark for a sec, it does have a second effect. If Toon World you control would be destroyed by a card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. So there is a nifty combo where you can use this thing to search your Toon Kingdom, and when it resolves, that means Toon Kingdom already has destruction effect protection built into it. That's pretty handy. And because Toon Kingdom seems to be the linchpin of most of the deck, and all the other cards in the deck pretty much become dead without it, it is really nice to be able to protect it because it otherwise has a giant bullseye on it. Last spell we care about is Toon Page Turn, another one of the new ones. It's a quick play spell that lets you reveal three Toon monsters with different names, and your opponent picks one of them random and special summons it, ignoring its summoning condition. You can only use one of them for its turn. Pretty handy, lets you get some advantage on board, just, you know, activate it during an end phase in order to circumvent the summoning sickness of two of your monsters. It's also why we're running Toon Blackluster, Toon Harpy, and Toon Mass Sorcerer because you need three targets for it of different names. And I figured because we don't want to accidentally hit one of our one-off copies of things, that's why I'm running three, three, and three. Our main trap card of the deck is Harpy's Featherstorm. Until the end of the turn, negate all monster effects your opponent activates. This is ridiculous, and all you have to do is control a Wing Beast monster in order to use it. However, if that Wind Wing Beast monster is a Harpy, you can activate this card from your hand. <laughs> Turns out Toon Harpy Lady is a Harpy Lady. Go figure. This thing is probably one of the most powerful normal traps in the game, which also explains why we're running Trap Trick, because you gotta get to it. Ace good. I'm also gonna ignore the fact that it searches Harpy's Feather Duster, because we can't use Duster in the TCG. The last Toon card in the deck is Toon Terror. It's an Infernity Barrier, that if you control Toon World and a Toon, you can negate a spell, trap, or monster effect and destroy that card. Pretty solid, however, it does require you to control two different cards, a Toon World and a Toon Monster, so that's a little clumsy, which is why we also run three Solemn Judgment. The 4k life, or whatever it's gonna cost, is quite a bit, but if we don't have the protection for our Toon Kingdom, we really, really need this thing. And last but not least, there can only be one, because all of our types are all over the place. Uh, very rarely does this ever come back and bite you in the butt. The only time I ever had it be weird was when I tried to make a Castell? Although I had a Harpy Lady on board, so it wouldn't let me do it, obviously, uh, but it's very rare occurrence, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. Like I said, our extra deck is nothing but targets for cherries or extravagance. Uh, the level four or the rank fours in here rather are you know they're they're pretty useful but again not too not too important then uh the side deck is whatever you want however the one thing i would want to mention is our toon cyber dragon because toon cyber dragon is really really searchable being a toon monster and if you're going second he's a really really handy card because he's just cyber dragon means that you can play into a board and if your opponent has a monster in their extra monster zone you can also have sighted in your Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon, so you can use it as fusion material. The getting like Appaloosa or whatever it is off the board. Because, oh, look at this. Chimera Tech Mega Fleet says one Cyber Dragon monster, not Cyber Dragon like the other Chimera Techs, so your Toon Cyber Dragon actually counts. Pretty, pretty slick. All right, that was the deck profile. Let's look at a few duels I did, which kind of show off uh, the combos. All right, this first duel's against some random guy on the server <laughs> playing Blue Eyes White Dragon. Now, I don't think he's the best Blue Eyes player in the world. Uh, 
up, and I don't think he was really reading my cards too well, but, you know, that is, that is the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. He kept targeting, or at least trying to get rid of There Can Only Be One instead of going after Toon Kingdom for whatever reason. I guess because he thought that this was probably more debilitating to his strategy, but lo and behold, that my whole deck would turn off if he just got rid of this. And because uh, our Dragon Spirit of Light is a banish, I can't really protect it at all. And I ended up just getting another one, or there can only be one anyway, so it really didn't end up mattering that he popped that one. Here's my favorite thing, he attacks into the, into the white dragon, like the, you know, because he doesn't read this, I guess. But he learns his lesson the next turn, however, because he does actually smack into my mask Sorcerer. It's funny though, there can only be one, it's like, when your deck is all dragons, you can't seem to do too much, can you? Boop. But then I guess he just quit because uh, he realized that he couldn't out my board. I think next turn I was going to possibly kill him. No, but he did. I guess he doesn't know that. All right, this next one is against Fluffle Fright Furs. I opened the Extravagance to get all the cards, but I ended up getting like two page turns, which was really lame. That's fine. I got to my Toon Kingdom anyway. Also would have really liked Black Thunder Soldier, but that's fine. We got the Harpy Lady, which is really, really handy anyway. So here I am trying to think I would stop him from getting a toy vendor, but he had one in his hand anyway, so it's like, all right, that's that's cute, I guess. Just draw a million cards, it's fine. But uh, I must have borked his play well enough where he misplayed or something, because he ended up really not doing anything. And uh, I wanted to actually use this during the end phase, but I like misclicked or something, so I, I, I didn't do it. So that's kind of lame. I would have had an extra card, but it ends up not mattering. Oh yay. Stump the vendor. Get more cards. More vendors. More cards. Effecto. Oh yeah, just, just keep going. So I saw him the... Uh, Anaconda thing here because I figured it would probably flood, what do you call it? Flood. Bottleneck his play, and it looked like it did, I guess. <laughs> and the card I searched off my, or drew off my Mass Sorcerer was the Harpy's Featherstorm, so time to turn off his turn. Oof. Negating the old Edge Imp. It's cool that this isn't just field effects, it's just any of monster effects. Pretty slick. I set the border, because I couldn't just normal summon him because I controlled other monsters. But that's okay. Let's see what he does. Polymerization. Solemn Judgment. I don't think so. Oof. I ended up putting this in defense mode too because I was getting a lot of light points. I didn't trust him. Ah, uh, yay. Toon table. Get the Black Luster Soldier. Put, banish that Edge Imp. Flip the border. Punch you. What did I set? Trap trick? I think it's dead at this point. That's, yeah, but he surrendered anyway. All right, this next one is actually against uh, Jason. Uh, we played this during my last live stream before I recorded this, so that was fun. So Jason's playing his Arcana deck, which is in this instance uh, invoked DM. Fun. So he ends up making uh, Kaliga and. Cal Caliga <laughs> and Purgatorio, so that, that's cool. Purgatorio? Purgatorio. I know. Those cards. But uh, yeah, we do some tune stuff. Harper Lady pops up the pops the uh, Eternal Soul, and I kind of can use Purgatorio, which is thick, because I did actually did uh, piercing damage to his uh, Caliga. That was fun. Pot of, pot of greed, baby! It's so free! Oh yeah, and more Harpy Lady pop. Thanks. Or that super power that was dead anyway. <laughs> Punch you. The magician's Rod, <laughs> Solemn Judgment. <laughs> yeah, it's my game. All right, this last one was actually another stream duel against Ryan playing his My Valentine Harpies. So it's like my Toon Harpy versus his real Harpy deck, I suppose. Now this was neat, he ashed my bookmark, but because I already had the Toon Kingdom, uh, I still get the value of bookmark in the grave, so it's not entirely uh, entire loss. Now here's here's the here's the card that was almost almost my demise, the evenly matched. But uh, I managed to basically spoiler alert, deal with it just by having all these pot of extravagances just to like mitigate the advantage loss. 
And because I had border, I couldn't use Har Toon Harpy's effect to pop a thing. So that was kind of a weird anti-synergy, I guess I should mention. And it also comes up again in this duel later. But uh, again, I, I guess I was just like, well, border is much better than against him than it is against me. So it's, it's not the end of the world that it does stop my two tunes from doing their ignition effects. But I still managed to get the Black Lip Trigger on board, even though I couldn't vanish the back row. But at this point, I really wasn't wasn't too concerned about it. Because it had been sitting there for a few turns. So then Ryan just summons his Ash Blossom and goes out on his own terms, I suppose. Alright guys, that was the deck profile and the duels. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, fun thing about tunes are uh, my like first deck profile of tunes that I put on this channel was like one of my like first... Uh, videos to ever get a ton of views so like it's kind of fun to revisit that even if it's uh, yeah. tunes because moving on the comment below what you guys think if you guys if you don't troll the matter who will i'll see you guys next time just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on patreon you guys make the whole channel possible you guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that if you guys want to be part of the goblet attack force link for the patreon down in the description below well 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 look who's back be sure to subscribe to the channel this time, or I will use my Millennium Rod and do d devious, devious things to you. Evil things. Also, by the way, Bakora never did ever get that milk. I did get the bloody milk. No, you didn't. This is oat milk. It's not real milk. It needs to come from a cow. How do you milk an oat? 